Hello guys and what is up? This my name is Christopher and my YouTube username is Castle Perfect as usual. I am bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay this time. It's on Fila and I had a great time doing this one because I am using the classified submachine gun uh, which is called the Kiparis. Well, I don't know if it's if I'm pronouncing it the right way, but unfortunately for me, <laughs> my English is not all that great and you guys know that. I am Dominican and I've learned how to speak English through watching videos on YouTube, so don't expect as much as uh, what you can expect from my uh, English person, you know, like from British, British person or something, I don't know. But anyways, I would like to talk about, uh, you know, the people that I was playing with in this game. I was playing with, uh, I think, a full, full uh, friends list, if you could call it like that. I mean, I was playing with six people, and I think that's the max that you can have on a team deathmatch. Um, game and uh, I was having a lot of fun and lately I've been playing with uh, a few game a few guys I will just definitely uh, post their names or their gamer tags in the description if you wanna check those guys out or if they have a YouTube account I will just look it up because I've been playing with those guys and I've been having a lot of fun with them um, because you know I love communication and while I'm playing Call of Duty and uh, we just constantly talk about what's going on in the game and uh, where the enemy is at and giving locations away from the enemy and stuff like that and that's just great you know having teamwork in every single game is so amazing but anyways I also would like to talk about a weapon the, the weapon, it's, weapon itself the Kiparis the Kiparis in my opinion is kind of underpowered if you ask me well I get double here <laughs> but anyways um, I think it's a little bit underpowered for, for being such a classified weapon um, on Call of Duty Black Ops. I think every single classified weapon is supposed to be a little bit uh, stronger than any other weapon in all the other in all the other you know um, places in the in the list itself. Like let's say uh, the G11, right? The G11 is a burst fire weapon. Um, it is it is great and it, it is very powerful and, and it, it, most of the time if you shoot on the chest you will get a one burst kill but um if you compare it with the M16 it's it's really powerful you know I mean the uh, G11 is a monster but um, if you have if you look at the uh, submachine gun list you would see that um, in my opinion at least I think the AK-74U should be the classified um, submachine gun because that thing is just great I mean the iron sights is perfect the fire fire rate is amazing and everything is great about that weapon and it's even more dangerous when you put on um, grip or rapid fire on it or if you wall or the the weapon and get a uh, grip and rapid fire on it, it will just obliterate the red the entire team as long as you know when to aim down the side quick because you don't have sleight of hand pro right so you won't be aiming as fast as you normally would with the uh, warlord but um, with that aside, I think um, the Kiparis, you know, the accuracy is great, the fire rate is great, but the clip size, that's what turns me down. I mean, um, a classified weapon is supposed to have a little bit more bullets in the, in the clip um, as, you know, for the other weapons. I mean, um, this weapon is lacking a few things. One is the size of the clip, it's it's too short, I mean, it's too small, it's not, it's not, so look at me, look at me, I'm just reloading after every single kill and that's not supposed to be like that I should at least be able to kill uh, three people without having to reload again but um that also has to do with the fire rate and that's why I think the Kipari should at least have uh, 30 rounds uh, per clip and not 20 but um that's just my opinion and uh, I also like to use this weapon with a grip attachment or extended max I tend to use it um, when I started uh, playing with this weapon, I used it with a silencer, but now I'm using it with a grip attachment because I don't know, I just, I don't know, I like grip. I, I, the, the attachment itself is just something that I like on every single submachine gun and uh, it, that increases the accuracy so much. But the Kiparis doesn't have uh, that big of a recoil, so you, you don't have to worry about the recoil. You should definitely try out some different attachments like extended mags and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. For uh, I don't I don't really have much complaints about this weapon because this weapon is great in my opinion it's great the only problem is just the clip size as I said and uh, you know it's just a personal opinion uh, you guys might think uh, otherwise I don't know if you think um, there should be something else attached to this weapon or should definitely be improved to this weapon just le leave me a comment down there I would like to know what you guys think should be better on this weapon because it's a, cl a classified submachine gun and I mean every classified weapon is supposed to be really strong 
And I know they're don't making uh, weapons overpowered is not going to help the game. But as long as you make them a little bit stronger than usual, it is a great thing, right? But anyways, um, I had a super great game here. Um, my enemy wasn't as smart as always. <laughs> They were pretty low level in my opinion, but I've uh, I've heard a lot of people telling me that the level doesn't say anything, but in this case it said a lot. I mean, I was playing with people like uh, with uh, level 30, level 22 or something, I don't remember. You will see the scoreboard right now, about now, and uh, you know, I think that was uh, kind of, a, kind of a, a advantage or disadvantage on their side to have played with me. But anyways, I had a great game guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary, I hope you enjoyed the video. I went 29 and 4, kill the Thracian of 7.25 and 1 assist, or 4 assists, sorry, I can cannot clearly see it from here. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestion about what should be better on the weapon the Kiparis, please leave a comment and thumbs up the video if you, if you enjoyed it. And I'll check you guys later on the next video. Bye, thanks for watching and adios.